Hi, welcome to the third part of the optimization tutorial. What I have here is an overview of the map open in Photoshop that I cut up some areas with, um, just for a demonstration. The orange dot is going to represent us, the player. So, right now, when you spawn, this is exactly what will be rendered. Everything will be rendered. But when we're sitting right here in spawn, all that we should really see is this. We shouldn't see the dogs hidden behind the wall over here on the left side, and the dogs in the far bottom right corner. We shouldn't need to see those. So, what we're going to do in this tutorial is learn how to cut this up into different areas correctly, so that way it works. And also, just like if we were in the area with the dogs, we shouldn't see spawn, because that's an un... that's an area that we wouldn't see. I mean, there is a small chance that we could see the two dogs, so I mean, it's just, it's all about cutting up your level, realizing how it's made, and figuring out how you want to cut it up. So that's what we're going to do. And how you do this is, you want to go to your texture browser and you want to browse for skip. It's just called skip, and it's tools slash tools skip. So, you do have to remember that your map is not 2D like I showed you in that picture. It's 3D. So we have this wall here with the dogs on this side. The easiest way that we're going to, uh, to cut this up is we make a brush that extends all the way across to the ceiling. Has to be to the ceiling. And that's how it should look. It should be pretty much just clipping with this. If you want to have some extra security and uh, you want to move it in a segment or two, that's fine. But I mean, it's it's fine if it's flush. And then what you want to do is you want to browse for hint. And then it's just tools slash hint. And then you apply it to one face. The one face that it is applied to will be cut into a biz leaf. So now that's cut. And now, when we're standing in spawn, all that will be rendered is that. Now we do have to do some more cutting to get rid of these dogs in the bottom. So we're going to do that right now. How we do this one is we get our skip texture again. We want to apply skip to right there in our doorway. And we just want it to be flush with the doorway. So we apply that, and then we put hint on this face here. Now, we still have the problem with the above. Because the viz leaves reach up and go above the wall. So we need to cut the viz leaves so they don't go above the wall. So this one's just going to be through the entire map. It's just going to cut an entire viz leaf down so it cannot be seen over the wall. Then you grab your hint and you apply it to just the one face. And now we have to do one more cut which is just for a safety cut basically. We get our skip texture again. We want to just going to fill the room with it. And it's just going to equal up to that one that's to the top. So, now, we're going to grab the clipping tool, and we're going to clip it on a 45 degree angle. So now it's like this. And now we apply this, the hint to that face, and now, to get a view of this, let's say we're standing right here, and we have this huge hint brush that's going like that but only more straight. Now we have it like that, and now the dogs definitely won't be drawn because we don't need to see them, so they aren't going to be drawn. Now, you can go a little crazy if you really look at the map, like if we did another if we did another hint right here on a diagonal and went all the way across with it, we wouldn't see these dogs either. But you, you can't really go too crazy, but, I mean, you gotta, gotta use your brain a little bit and decide if it's really worth it if you want to do that. I'm gonna make that, that hint, actually, right now. 
So again, you just want to grab your skip. And I'm going to put it right there. To the ceiling. Then cut it on a 45. Now you apply hint to it. And that's it. See, it's kind of tricky to learn how to do. There's some going to be some documentation in the video info on a written tutorial on this. I did not write that tutorial. The author will make himself known in the tutorial. Uh, it's a very good tutorial. And uh, just keep watching. I'm going to load this up in Counter-Strike to show you the complete differences of what just happened. Alright, so now I'm in Counter-Strike, and you're going to need to know a console command to check if this is actually working or not, because there's pretty much no way to tell unless you're using a console command. You have to have SV Cheats on, so I just turned SV Cheats on, and you want Matt Wireframe 3. And this is how it looks before we do the optimization. You see, there's a little bit going on here, the viz leaf. It cut that area out. I mean, we want to we wanna make sure that it does its job even better. So we helped it along a little bit. And this is what it looks like with the hint and skip. Alright, and this is with hint and skip. You have to have SV cheats on again. The wireframe. Alright, and now you see that because of where we're standing, the dogs are not drawn. Because we don't see them, we don't want to see them. And also over here, those dogs aren't drawn. But as soon as we peek this corner here, boom, there they are. If we back up a little bit, they're gone now because of that angled viz leaf there. And if you see, if you put on matte leaf viz, you can see the viz leaves we've got. Like, this is that diagonal one that we put here. And there's the dogs disappearing. As soon as we round the corner on that viz leaf, we can see them. It's better optimization than whatever Vviz is going to come up with. So, I mean, in here, all we can see is the dogs, pretty much, and what's up there. So, I hope this has helped you, because this is the second biggest form of optimization there possibly can be. I'm going to go over occluders and area portals in the next two parts. Keep watching, don't forget to subscribe.